Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Croxley Green today. Croxley Green is a village between Rickmansworth and Watford, served by Croxley Station on the Watford branch of the Metropolitan Line. And what we're going to do today, we're going to go down to Croxley Hall Woods to have a look at the woods and how the Watford branch of the Metropolitan Line travels through the woods. But first, I just thought I'd show you All Saints Church. It's a really rather beautiful building. The foundation stones were first laid in 1870. I'll just let you have a look. I do really like the um, the conical spire the church has got. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk around the end of the church and we're going to head down to this little lane that will take us down to Croxley Hall Woods and um, we're going to go and see what we can see down there because it's a really quite an interesting woodland and for people like me it's even more interesting because it's got the railway passing through. Let's just let you have a look at the church as we walk past. So we've just gone past the church now. Where we're going to is just up here, this little pathway. Um, or it's more like a, an unmade road that takes us down to Croxley Hall Woods. So we're going to go down there and um, see what we can see. Now we have been to Croxley Hall Woods before but not actually in the woods themselves. We passed through on the train so let's get across the road quickly. Bit of an awkward corner there, couldn't see round. All Saints Lane, same as the church. So we're going to go down here towards Croxley Hall Woods. So we're now a little bit further down All Saints Way into the very peaceful Croxley Hall Wood. You can hear the sounds of the birds singing, occasionally interrupted by a train passing through, which um, I will show you in a moment. So there's paths going off in all directions. There's another one going up there. Although this fence, this is um, the boundary of London Underground's um, property, so that kind of shows how the railway lines run through the woods. Now if we get to just down here, um, you can see one thing I really like about Hertfordshire is their footpath signs. See how it says All Saints to Green, that's where we came from. There, sometimes it even tells you how in, in yards how far it is. It's about a quarter of a mile up there. So this looks interesting. There's one called the Croxley Green Boundary Walk. Um, maybe could look into that, maybe do that in the future. I'm just going to show you something down here though. So I've said a lot about railways. Um, you might just be able to hear a train. Um, I'm going to show you a railway but I'm not expecting to see a train. Look down there. That is one of few conventional tunnels on the London Underground. Now that is the curve which runs from Rickmansworth onto the Watford branch. Now if you want to go on that line you've got to be up early because the train that takes that curve leaves Chesham at about quarter past five in the morning. I have done it once, I did a video so there's a link in the screen now and um, it was quite fun but I had to be up early. Um, I have done it also on a few um, heritage trains so I've done it with steam with Met number one and um, the Great Western Prairie Tank number 5521. I've done it with um, Sarah Siddons and a class 20. I've also done it on the 1938 stock. The one thing I haven't done it on, which I sort of regret a little bit, is not I've never done it on an A stock train. Now as it's all quite overgrown it's hard to show you but the other end of the tunnel, it's only a short tunnel, it's just there, you might just there where my finger is, be able to see a bit of track. And then up there is the junction with the um, the other side of the triangle which most of the trains go into Watford take. So it's really quite underused although it's double track. So all of this was added in, a, in 1925. The Metropolitan Line, the main Metropolitan Line which we shall see in a moment was opened as far as Rickmansworth in 1887. So um, when you think the church back there, they started building that in 1870, that predates the railway. Actually, if we come down here, we might get a better view of the tunnel. I can just see through the, it's a bit awkward because it is overgrown um, with all the bushes and everything, but you might just be able to see that is the mouth of the tunnel. 
Um, and then the Metropolitan Main Line is just on the other side of this fence here. So we really are surrounded by London Underground property in all directions. So as I said, this is the main side, the triangle where the Metropolitan Line trains to Amersham go and the Chiltern Railways trains to Ellsbury Vale Parkway go. Um, and then what I'm going to do, once I've shown you this, I'm going to take you up, we'll go over the other side of the triangle. So we see everything on the triangle really. Um, so how well can we see this? You may be able to see up there is the junction for the Watford line as for the, for the trains that come out of London heading towards Watford. Now, if we have a look on this side, we can quite clearly see through the mesh the points for the junction with this side of the Watford Triangle. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back up here and uh, try and find the other side of the Watford Triangle. So as for this bit of track, um, like I said, there is that one train a day at 5.16 in the morning. And its main purpose really is it brings people from Chesham up the hill and they can change the channel from Latimer or Brickmansworth and then they get the train from Amersham up to London, which runs five minutes behind it. Although I did once see it, I was at Chalfont Latimer one morning when I wasn't planning to go on it, and it must have been five minutes late leaving Chesham because the train from Amersham went ahead of it. So if you'd been on that train hoping to go um, from Chesham to change the London train, you'd have had a long wait. But I've done it a few times. I've actually been a genuine passenger when I've done it because um, it's, the times I've done it is if there's a rail tour going out of Euston and I don't fancy being in Euston too early in the morning. So I go to Watford Junction. So I'll take this line and walk to Watford Junction. Of course, it was supposed to be extended to Watford Junction. Um, it very nearly happened, but it seems to have, well, it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, but um, we'll do a video on that at a later date. This is what I was saying about with Hertfordshire's footpath signs. Oh, there's a whistle of the London Underground train. 817 yards. I love how precise and imperial it is. And down to the Grand Union Canal, 538 yards. That's where I'm going to go when I finish the video. Just hear another train now. And it sounds like it's coming from that way. It must be going towards London. I don't know if the camera is picking out the sound of the whistles, but the one thing that hasn't changed on the London Underground electric trains is the whistle. The A stock trains, the S stock trains, and some of the older trains, they all have that high pitch whistle as opposed to horn, which um, most other trains have. As for that bit of track over there then, passenger trains on it, like I said, if you want to do it, you've pretty much got to be up early in the morning or go on one of the heritage trains, if um, which run occasionally. Um, there is talk or there was talk when they extended to Watford, which Watford Junction, which as I said hasn't happened yet, that there could have been, say, a Watford to Ellsbury train which would have used that side of the curve. But um, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see if and when that ever happens. But it would be nice if there were more regular trains. I believe there was a regular train on that branch um, between Ro Watford and Rickmansworth until about 1967 and then it was withdrawn. In the 90s there were a few more trains because what would happen, or what I think still does happen but they're not for passengers, is some of the last trains out of London, they terminate at Watford and then they go um, empty over that curve to Rickmansworth. I've just noticed here, here is the substation, probably built at the time when they built the Watford branch. And you can see the Metropolitan Main Line over there and the other side of the triangle, the side that the majority of the trains going to Watford use runs along here. So uh, let's show you this side first. Um, clearly see the track. Fortunately, we can't quite see the junction. The junction with the rarely used side of the triangle is a bit further around. Um, if we have a look here, we can clearly see though the junction with the Metropolitan Main Line. And down there, is the Grand Union Canal. There was also another railway to Rickmansworth, one that predated the Metropolitan Line, which ran from Watford Junction to Rickmansworth. I'm going to leave this track. We're going to go into here. Um, because the reason I want to finish the video in here is you can see we're kind of coming into gravel pits. Now these gravel pits, these were dug out 
when they built that first railway to Rickmansworth. It was built by Lord Ebury, he was the local MP. It's now disused, it closed to passengers in 1952, um, and it's a footpath known as the Ebury Way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, when I finish this video, I'm gonna go down there and I'm making another video on that branch line. But um, I thought we'll just finish with a bit of walking through Croxley Hall Woods and um, like I said, when there's not a train running, it really is quite a nice, peaceful place. Just nice sometimes when it's just you in the woods and you can hear the sound of the birds singing. Um, and the railway line would be up there somewhere. I'm not expecting to see any more of the railway now. I think, um, you know, we're deep in the woods. Well, I say deep, we're in the woods. And, um, yeah, it's not, no more railways in this video now, but we're never far from them. If a train went along there now, we'd know about it. I think now we're actually coming right into the middle of one of these pits. So to think all the spoil dug out here went towards building the railway to Rickmansworth, which basically the Metropolitan um, took all its business away. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, like I said, if you wanna go on that bit of track, got to be up early but it's worth it especially if you're a track basher and you want to say you've done it um if you want to come to these woods it's not too far to walk from crockley station or indeed from rickmansworth station oh, this is interesting there's a real pit going down there so um yeah why not come for a day out here um like i said maybe not so early in the morning but come have a day out and walk around these woods they're really nice peaceful places so from crocksley hall woods Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and do look out for the next video. I'm gonna walk along the Ebury Way from Rickmansworth Church Street towards Watford. Thank you very much for watching, goodbye.